Hello everyone. Hope your preparation for GATE examination is going on well. In this video session, we are going to attempt next question in computer organization from the topic instruction pipelining. Though this uh, question does not require any in-depth knowledge of instruction pipelining, it just needs some mathematical aptitude. That's it. So this question was asked in the year 2004 in IT GATE question paper. The question is, in an enhancement of a design of a CPU, the speed of a floating point unit has been increased by 20% and the speed of a fixed point unit has been increased by 10%. What is the overall speed up achieved if the ratio of the number of floating point operations to the number of fixed point operations is 2 is to 3 and the floating point operation used to take twice the time taken by fixed point operation in the original design? So this is the question we need to find out the speed up with the enhanced uh, uh, design. Now in the enhanced design, the speed has been increased for floating point operations by 20% and that of fixed point operations by 10%. So definitely the time taken to execute same number of instructions would get reduced in both the cases of uh, floating point and fixed point operations. So let us now evaluate the time taken in the, with the new design in terms of uh, time taken by the previous design for executing x number of uh, arbitrary uh, floating point instructions. So let's say uh, the previous uh, CPU before enhancement it used to take uh, t1 time to execute x number of arbitrary floating point instructions. So x where x is number of floating point instructions can be given as uh, the earlier speed let it be s1 and the earlier time taken to execute x instructions so x where x is number of instructions is given by speed into time where the unit of speed uh, might be millions instructions per second which is which is used for uh, measuring performance of CPU million instructions per second or a speed of a CPU million instructions per second is the unit of the speed and uh, unit of time is in seconds, right? So X is number of instructions and that is equals to S1 into T1. Now with the enhanced uh, design, let's say the time taken is T2 and the enhanced speed is S2. So same X instructions can be executed with speed S2 in time T2, where S2 is the new speed and T2 is the new time taken. Now as these two values are same, we can equate them S1 into T1 equals to S2 into T2, right? Now the new speed is 20% more than earlier speed for floating point operations. So if we write the new speed in terms of earlier speed, it would be 120 by 100 that is 20% more than earlier speed 120 by 100 into S1, right? And let us write T2 as it is. So S1 in left hand side and right hand side can be cancelled out and T2 in terms of T1 can be given as 100 by 120 of earlier time, right? So 100 by 120 is 5 by 6 T1. So what we can observe here is if the uh, speed increases to 120 by 100 of earlier time, then the uh, time reduces to 100 by 120 of earlier time right so one thing to note here is uh, if the speed is increased by 20 percent it does not mean that the time would get reduced to 80 20 percent by by 20 percent that is the time would become 80 percent of the earlier time it would have been wrong if we have considered the time would be 80 percent of the earlier uh, time because 5 by 6 of t1 if we calculate it in percentage, it would be something other than 
it would be a little more than 80 percent so let us calculate 5 by 6 in percentage so in percentage if you calculate it it would be uh, 5 by 6 into 100 so 5 by 6 into 100 is equals to 500 by 6 and that is somewhere near to 83.33 percentage so this is the exact number of percent exact percentage to which the time would get reduced with the enhanced speed so with this knowledge in hand now let us calculate the speed up so it is given here that the number of fixed point operations uh, to floating point operations to number of fixed point operations is 2 is to 3 and the floating point operation used to take twice the time taken by fixed point operation in the original design so let's say in the original design uh, floating point or the fixed point operation used to take time t and so as in the original design floating point operation used to take twice the time as that of fixed point operations then the time taken would be equals to 2t right and in the new design with the discussion that we ha had earlier that uh, the floating point operations would now be taking uh, 100 by 120 of the earlier time so the earlier time taken by uh, the you know, by the original design was 2t so the new time would be equals to 2t into 100 by 120 right so for floating point let us write fixed point as well and then floating point so with the new design floating point operations would be uh, taking how much time it would be 100 by 120 of earlier time so earlier time was 2t so 2t into 100 by 120 this would be the new time taken to execute floating point operations now for fixed point operations the new time would be uh, 100 by 110 by the same token as we have calculated 100 by 120 for fixed point operation it would be 100 by 110 so the earlier time was t and with that if you multiply 100 by 110 you would get the time taken by the new design for fixed point operation now let us calculate the speed up so it is given that uh, the ratio of floating point operation to that of fixed point operation is 2 is to 3 right so let us consider that uh, the number of fixed point operations uh, floating point operation is 20 and the fixed point operation is 30 that is in the ratio 2 is to 3 so to execute this 50 instruction the total time taken uh, in the original design would be 20 into 20 where 20 is floating point instructions and 30 is fixed point instruction number of fixed point instructions so time total time taken to execute this 50 uh, instructions would be this in the original design it would be 20 into time taken in the original design to execute floating point instruction is 2t whereas to execute fixed point instruction as we have seen in the previous page it's t and the speed up is given by the total time taken by the original design divided by the total time taken to execute this 50 instruction with the new design so for 20 instructions uh, the time taken for uh, with the new design would be per floating point instruction is taking 2t into 100 by 120 this much time and for 30 fixed point instruction it is t into 100 by 110 
so this would be the speed up now let us evaluate it so here we have 40 t plus 30 that is 70 t and down here we have 5 by 6 and this is 3 so we have 100 t by 3 and here zeros can be cancelled out so we have 300 t by 11 now 33 this is 1100 t and this is 900 t and on top of that this is denominator and to on top of that we have 70 t so 70 t divided by this thing so let us come to the new page 70 t divided by 2000 t divided by 33 so t's can be cancelled out 70 into 3 divided by 70 into 33 divided by 2000 zeros can be cancelled out 7 3's are 21 231 divided by 200 now divide 231 by 200 ones are 200 31 is the remainder decimal point 310 200 110 0 5000 100 is remainder 0 205 so 1000 so this is the correct answer 1.155 So A is correct. Hope you have understood the logic of choosing this answer. Thanks for watching. Bye.